Didn't Both. she in jail? Because they wanted her to win. They wanted what did you win? think of um, the cover of the New Yorker magazine? I think we have a picture of it. Oh, she it's, shining? It's titled The Shining, <laughs> yeah. right. There's you in the back and then uh, Bill Barr in the middle and then uh, Mitch McConnell in the front. Shining the president's shoes. Well, first thing, I need to lose some weight. <laughs> and nobody seems to be overly happy. But here's the deal. If I'm helping the president, it's good for for me because I want him to succeed. If I'm helping the president, it's good for the country because I think I got something to offer to him. And he's doing a really good job. If you want a strong military, you got one. If you want a humming economy, you got one. If you want to take on the enemy differently than Obama did, that's exactly what we're doing. So the Democrats are going to get him reelected. I don't think you can become the nominee of the Democratic Party without embracing impeachment. And if you're a House member of the Democratic Caucus, you're going to get a primary if you vote against impeachment because the people who want to impeach this president have lost their mind and they're driving the Democratic Party over an edge between what President Trump has accomplished for this country mm -hmm. and how crazy they've become. He's yeah. going to get reelected. Speaking of that, we've, we're hearing things like that from Democrats. They're calling it a cover up. <laughs> the question is, how far will they go? Here's Speaker Pelosi. Now, this time, another ten temper tantrum. Uh, uh, again, I pray for the president of the United States. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention for the good of the country. The president is engaged in a cover up. And that is what my statement is. If we can get the facts to the American people through our investigation, it may take us to a place that is unavoidable in terms of impeachment or not. Uh, but we're not at that place Madam yet. Speaker. Your reaction? Well, what's unavoidable is that she's going to lose her job <laughs> if she doesn't embrace impeachment because the people she's in charge of have lost their mind when it comes to Trump. A cover-up. Remember Bob Mueller? Remember that guy? Yeah. The guy that everybody trusted. He'll be fair to the country. He'll be fair to the president. You got 400 and something pages. Cover-up. Trump gave 1.4 million documents to the special counsel. His attorney, White House counsel, testified for 30 hours. His chief of staff went to testify uh, in front of Mueller, and he, had, he answered written interrogatories. What did Donald Trump cover up regarding Mueller? Nothing. Now, if he's fighting back against a bunch of crazy people to tr trying to destroy his life, that's not covering anything up. The House Judiciary Committee is trying to retry the Mueller case. Mueller, to me, was the final word. They actually want to go through everything and do it all over again and get a different outcome. You're not covering anything up when you're fighting a bunch of politicians trying to destroy you and your family. Right. When it came time to cooperate with an independent man of the law, President Trump never claimed executive privilege. Here's what I would say is being covered up, the division in the Democratic Party. I was, uh, when she said, there's no division in the House, either she's delusional or she's misleading us. Eighty percent, according to Colonel Sanders, the congressman from Tennessee who ate the chicken, said that 80 percent of the Judiciary Committee is already ready to impeach President Trump as Democrats. The energy in their party is for impeachment. She is putting uh, lipstick on. You really think they on. will? That's terrible I, politics. Let me tell you why. If it's between my job and Trump, I'm picking me. You cannot get through a Democratic primary in mm. 2020 without a candidate against you if you do not embrace impeachment. You cannot be their nominee unless you say Donald Trump wants to needs to be impeached and that's why he's going to win because most Americans think that's nuts. 53 percent want to end the Russian investigation right. and the president's doing a damn good job with the things that matter to you, keeping you safe, uh, increasing your paycheck and the best is yet to come. <laughs> he's got to do infrastructure. Right. Mr. President, don't let these guys go to you into not doing good things for the country. Do infrastructure. Speaking of the best is yet to come, you want to go outside for the concert series with Gavin DeGraw with us?